Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mihir Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve maximization sums under assignment model. Okay, in our video series, this is the first sum which will be based on maximization problem. Okay, in our video series, this is going to be our seventh sum that we are going to be solved. Okay, so now let us see how to solve sum based on maximization. Okay, what is the procedure? What are the steps and how to get your optimal solution? We will all be seeing that in this particular sum. So let us see how to solve the sum based on maximization. Okay, now let us see how to solve this sum. Uh, five salesmen are to be assigned to five territories and find the optimum assignment to maximize the sale now this is the very first sum based on maximization problem under assignment model so let us first check uh, whether the sum is balanced or not so now if you look carefully there are five territories and five salesmen so it is a balanced program altogether so now in order to solve sum which are based on you know balanced program the very first step under maximization will be number one we need to get the regret matrix okay now in order to get the matri uh, regret matrix first what we'll do we'll note down all the territories and salesman's values Okay, now in order to make the regret matrix, the rule is from the question, whichever is the highest value. From the question, whatever is the highest value, that value minus all other values will give you the new regret matrix. So in this sum, the highest value which I can see in the question is 29. So it will be basically 29 minus all other values from the entire table. So let us start. 29 is being the highest value, we'll subtract that value from all other values in the entire table and we get a new regret table, okay? So 29 minus 24 is 5, 29 minus 12 is 17, next is 21, 19, 22, 0, 4, 1, 16, 13, 15, 6, 1. We are subtracting 29 with all other values to get these values. Okay. 20. Next one is 14, 19, 10, 1, and 6. And for the last one, it would be 11, 12, 6, 15, and 21. So what we have done here was whatever was the lowest value, the, the highest value 29, we subtracted all other values from 29 and got the new regret table. That is step number one whenever there is a sum based on maximization. Okay, now step number two will be our row minimization. So row minimization. Now in order to make row minimization, the rule is first we make the similar you know the structure of the table. So we have T1, T2. T3, T4 and T5 and salesman may be have S1, S2, S3, S4 and S5. Now under row minimization the lowest value from each row will get subtracted from all other values. So now this is from the minimization. The regret was made taking the highest value and then getting subtracting all other values. Now for minimization the lowest value we need to subtract from each row. So from the first row that is S1 the lowest value is 5. So 5 minus all other values, it will be 0, 12, 16, 14 and 17. In the second, the lowest is 0, so all the values will remain as it is. In the third, the lowest value is 1, so it will become 15, 12, 14, 5 and 0. In the fourth, the lowest value is 1, so it will become 13, 18, 9, 0 and 5. Uh, in the next one the lowest value is 6 so it will become 5 6 0 9 and 15 once you get the you know the row minimization the next step is third column minimization 
Now in order to get column minimization again we create similar table where we have T1, T2, T3, T4 and T5. Sales mill mein S1, S2, S3, S4 and S5. Now column wise whichever is the minimum value. Now here 0 is the minimum. So 0 minus all other values. So here the values remain same. So in column minimization whichever value is lowest in the column will get subtracted from all other subsequent values. So in our second column 4 is the minimum value so we minus 4 with all other values. So it will be 8, 0, 8, 14 and 2. In third the lowest is 0. So it will be 16, 1, 14, 9 and 0. The fourth one the lowest is again 0 so the value remain 14, 17. 5, 0 and 9 and last may again 0 is the lowest so 17, 15, 0, 5 and 15. Once we are completed with row minimization and column minimization the next step is we need to assign the values of zeros. So now row wise those rows which has only one zero will be first assigned and thereafter subsequently we go to the next and thereafter the columns. So in the first row there is only one zero so we assign that zero subsequently all other zero will get crossed out in the second row there's again only one zero we assign that in third again one zero we assign that fourth again one zero in fifth again one zero so we have assigned all the zeros which are there in the table so now we'll check to you know we'll check whether the solution is optimized or not so the assignment values the assignment values are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 5 assignment values and matrix size is, is also equals to 5. Therefore, we have an optimal solution. So we can say that for the solution is optimal. Now, once the solution is optimal, we can directly get the final answer. Therefore, the optimal assignment under maximization problem is S1 for S1 or salesman 1 the territory was given was T1 the value for which is 24 for S2 the territory given is T2 the value for which is 25 for S3 the value is T5 which is 28 for S4 the value is T4 which is 28 again and for S5 the value is T3 which is 23 the total of which will come to 24 plus 25 plus 28 28 23 comes to 128 therefore our final answer therefore they told you maximize sales so the maximization you know the total maximum you can say therefore the total maximum sale is 128 so this is how we had to solve the sum which was based on maximization problem so this was how we had to solve the sum which was based on maximization okay again very simple first you had to get the regret matrix then we go as per the normal format we need to find the row minimization then column max minimization and then check whether we are getting an you know optimal solution or not okay so with that we will be ending this video i hope everyone have understood stay tuned for another video whereby again we will be taking a one more sum based on maximization problem with that we will be ending this video thank you